Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're doing a little College Hoops 2K8 Legacy with Indiana State Sycamores Basketball. In this episode, we're coming off two wins. Last episode against the Penn Quakers and the Jacksonville Dolphins. In this one, we've got the Fordham Rams on the road and then back home against the Oakland Grizzlies. The Rams are 3-1. and one. The Grizzlies are 2-0 and oh at this point of the season. All right, guys, we are a little ways away from the top 25, but we can set our sights on possibly the mid-major top 25. As you see, the mid-major top 10 there, Utah State, Southern Illinois, uh, Missouri State are the two Missouri Valley teams in the mid-major top 10. And uh, we look at the matchup here between us and the Fordham Rams. They are out of the A-10. A 76 overall rating, 78 offense, 74 defense, and a very good shooting team. It is definitely going to be a huge challenge for us to take on Fordham. It says here the, the Atlantic 10 is a major conference. I kind of disagree with that myself. A uh, very experienced team, McCullough and Gabler, both senior leaders and designated coaches on, the, coaches on the floor. Lots of experience between those two guys. As you can see, Fordham beat Columbia, beat Wofford, and then went into uh, Columbia, Missouri, and beat Missouri 94-90, and then lost at Syracuse in a little in-state battle. We're going to be playing this one in Rose Hill Gym, capacity 3,470. Gabler, the power forward, is their leading scorer at 14.5 points a game. Uh, the other power forward, Cuisinard, is averaging 13.5. So that's going to be a challenge for us because we do not have the greatest of interior defenders. Uh, Gabler, also a great rebounder. 5.3 assists per game for McCullough. As you see, our leaders, Haynes, 11.5 points per game. He's taken a lot of shots and doesn't have a good shooting percentage to get that, though. Uh, 10 rebounds a game for Butt. He is a very good rebounder and 4.5 assists for, per game for Turner. All right, guys, we're heading into this one. Rose Hill Gym in the Bronx, New York. The Indiana State Sycamores and the Fordham Rams. The Rams are 3-1 and one, and the Sycamores 2-0. and oh. Coming into this one, it's going to be a big challenge for our young team that d does not have a lot of experience. First road game of the year as we get things underway in the early going. Here is... Turner, Matt Turner at the top of the key, trying to set up a little offense for the Sycamores. He's looking for Esmond Haynes around the screen. Esmond Haynes back to the middle of the floor, back to Holbrook. Holbrook, fall away shot is good off the back of the rim and down. And Indiana State is up two to nothing. Here comes McCullough now. McCullough, the senior leader point guard for this Rams team around the screen. On the pick and roll to Gabler, the power forward, and quickly those two hook up on the pick and roll. Here's the pass down to Dothit. And he lays it up and in. It's 5-4 to four Fordham at this point. 16 minutes left in the first half. Here's Matt Turner. Turner yo-yoing at the top of the key. Trying to set up an offense for Indiana State. They're going to try to get Esmond Haynes a shot again on the right side. Haynes back to the middle of the floor. His fall away from 10 feet. No. Rebounded there by Indiana State, and Haynes will take the shot from the baseline. He knocks it down. It's 6-5, to five, Sycamores. Here's McCullough now to the front court. McCullough yo-yoing over to the right side to Mullins. Mullins holding there, Holbrook guarding him. Mullins looking for Gabler. Gabler at the elbow, spin move, drops it over to the left baseline to Cuisinard, and he misses the shot where Damon Butt pulls it down. We're at the 15-25 mark of the first half. 6-5. to five. Indiana State with the lead. Haynes on the right side. Back to Matt Turner. Turner over to the left side to Holbrook. Holbrook probes on the baseline. Nothing there. Back to Dennis. Dennis, top of the key, looking down to Damon Butt. Damon Butt on the left block. Pump fake. Gets away with a little bit of a travel there. Kicks it back out to Dennis. Ten seconds on the shot clock for the Sycamores. Matt Turner. They're setting up a little pick and roll action. They try to get it underneath to Dennis. Back to Damon Butt. Damon Butt for the three. No. Rebounded by Dennis, and he'll put it back up and in off the... No, he misses it. Dennis off the glass. And the Sycamores don't get one to go there. Left side to Pranchowskis. Pranchowskis, the backup shooting guard, to Damon Butt, who goes all the way to the hole with the left hand. 19-15 now. Fordham. Trammell, the backup point guard, around the screen. Hands to Pranchowskis. Pranchowskis over the right side to Haynes. Haynes fall away three. No, rebounded by Mullins. Outlet to Hammond on the right side. It's two on one. 
And the Sycamores don't get back on defense quick enough. The Rams go defense to offense quickly on that possession. 21 to 15. Here's Trammell on the left side. Trammell between the leg dribble. Over to the right to Daniels. Back to Haynes. Haynes lets it fly from three. Off the front of the rim. Fats with the rebound. Fats gets it back to Trammell. Trammell's going to reset for the Sycamores. Between the legs dribble. Drives to the left side. He's going to come around the screen. Kick it back to O'Donnell. O'Donnell to the right side to Daniels. Daniels back on the block. He's going to back his guy in. Spin move to the baseline up and in. Score it, count it, and he's fouled. Fats Daniels will go to the line. He hits the free throw. It's 21 to 18. Stripped away by O'Donnell. O'Donnell is going to go coast to coast and throw it down. With two hands, it's 21-20. Rams with the lead. Under seven minutes to go in the first half now. Here's McCullough. McCullough at the top of the key. Guarded there by Trammell. Out to the top to Hammond. Hammond to Morissette. Around the screen, Morissette rattles in the 15-footer for Fordham. Nice shot off the screen by Morissette. Here's Haynes now. Haynes on the left side. Kicks it back out to the top of the key to Turner. Over to O'Donnell. He stops and pops from 20. No. Rebounded there by Fordham. Here's Hammond now. Hammond guarded by O'Donnell. Underneath to Gabler. Gabler's got the point guard Turner on him. He's double teamed over the right side to Morissette. Morissette drives baseline where he's cut off. Back to Cannon on the left side. Underneath to Gabler. Lay it up and in. Nice passing there by the Rams. Here's Cannon now on the left side guarded by Haynes. His pass is picked off by Turner to Pranchowskis on the left wing. Pranchowskis and Fordham gets back on defense nicely and Indiana State is stopped in the transition. Back to Turner now. Turner holding, trying to set something up for the Sycamores. Three minutes to go in the first half. Seven point lead for Fordham. Here's Haynes on the left side, down on the block to Damon Butt. Damon Butt, pump fake, lay it up and in with the left hand. 28-22 now, Hammond on the left side. Hammond holding, he's just gonna let it fly and he's gonna knock down the three, Hammond from the left elbow extended. Knocks down the three for Fordham and they extend their lead out to a 31-24 halftime advantage. We go to the second half. Here's McCullough for the Rams, guarded by Turner. Opening possession of the second half. Cuisinard from the right corner, no. Tipped up, rebounded by Holbrook for the Sycamores. He outlets it to Turner. Turner to the middle to Butt. Butt over on the left side to Haynes. Haynes stops, pops, and he knocks it down. Nice catch and shoot for Esmond Haynes, and he hits the three. It's a four-point game. McCullough crosses the midcourt line. Gets it to Cuisinard at the top of the key. Cuisinard down on the block to Cannon. Cannon shot up. Good. Six-point lead for the Rams. Here's Turner. Turner behind the back. Over to Butt. Butt into the corner to Haynes. Esmond holding. Back to the top of the key to Turner. Turner to Holbrook on the right side. Dennis now holding at the top of the key. Swings it back around to the left to Haynes. And it is stripped away there by McCullough. And McCullough takes it away from Turner and will go coast to coast, lay it up in off the glass. Eight point game, Rams with the lead and they're gonna put some pressure on Iowa or Indiana State here. Here's Turner, Turner's gonna try to go all the way off the press break and he misses the layup. McCullough with the rebound. McCullough at the top of the key, guarded by Turner. 17.44 to go in the second half now. Dothit holds on the left wing, down on the block to Cuisinard. Cuisinard backing his guy in, turn around, fall away off the glass, gets the roll. And a 10 point lead for Fordham. Here's Turner on the pick and roll into the middle to Dennis and Coleman Dennis gets the hoop and the foul. 41-33, Haynes with it. There's under 16 minutes to go in the second half. Over to Holbrook and he has it stripped by Cannon. Indiana State being a little bit loose with the basketball here. Lots of turnovers here in the second half. McCullough over to the right side to Cannon. He lets the three fly. No. Rebounded by Coleman Dennis. To Turner. Turner into the front court. Turner veers to the right side. Back to Dennis trailing. Over to Butt. Butt into the corner to Haynes. Haynes trying to go baseline. Nothing there. Back to Turner at the top of the key and will reset. Matt Turner yo-yoing. Here's the screen around it by Dennis to Bud at the top of the key over to Holbrook on the baseline to Haynes. Haynes is going to back his guy in, tries to spin, and it's knocked away another turnover from Indiana State. 
Here's McCullough now. Sycamores in a 2-3 zone. McCullough over the left side to Cannon. Cannon is double teamed there. Now Turner's on him and Holbrook sags to the baseline. Back the shot is good. Another three by Cannon. It's 44 to 33. Turner on the left wing to Haynes. Haynes looking underneath to Dennis. Dennis back to Damon Butt looking right down the barrel from the free throw line and he hits the shot. 44 35. Fordham with the lead. McCullough on the left side. McCullough to Dothit. Dothit guarded by Turner. Sycamore still in a 2 3 zone. Cannon with another three and it's good. 49 to 40, McCullough, yo-yoing at the top of the key, over to Gabler, Gabler, backing in on Markisovich, cross court to Morissette, and Morissette drills the three. And the 2-3 zone is not working great for Indiana State, they need to come out of it here. Here's Trammell looking down the barrel, knocks down the three. 13 point lead for Fordham, under 10 minutes to go in the game. Trammell to the right side to Ager, Ager. Ager back into the corner to Pranchowskis. Pranchowskis down on the block to Markisovic. He's blocked there. Gets it back. Here's Trammell. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Pranchowskis on the baseline. Jackknifes it up and in. 15 point lead for the Rams. Trammell from the right angle and does not get the roll. Rebounded by Gabler. Outlet to Morissette. Morissette on the right side to Connor. Here, Cannon, excuse me. Cannon back to Morissette. Morissette from the corner. Knocks down another three. And Fordham is shooting Indiana State right out of the gym right now. 18-point lead for the Rams with 7.25 to go. In the game, Holbrook down on the block to Daniels. Fats. Drop step on the baseline up and in with the right hand. Fats Daniels has seven points. And here is Dothit. Dothit across the midcourt line. Guarded by Trammell. Dothit holding underneath to Gabler, and Gabler up and in with the right hand, 65-47. Gabler has 13 points for the Rams. Over the right side to Holbrook, Holbrook holds. Holbrook into the middle to Daniels. Daniels has to get out of the key. Over to Trammell now on the right side, down on the block to Damon Butt. Damon Butt holding back to Dennis, and or Daniels looking down the barrel, misses the three, Dothit. On the outlet for Fordham, Dothit, guarded by Trammell. To the right side to Morissette. Morissette, looking down on the block, nothing there. He's gonna look for Gabler coming around the screen. He's stripped there by Damon Butt, picked up by Trammell, ahead to Butt. Butt, across to Holbrook, and he will lay it up and he is fouled. Holbrook, on the break, is fouled. It's an 18 point game and Holbrook will hit the first and the second free throw. 65-49 with 6.20 to go, Rams lead. Cannon back to the top to McCullough over to Cannon and Cannon fires another three he doesn't even know what's going on he knocks down another one 68 49 Rams with the lead Turner cross court to Holbrook Holbrook lets it fly from the right angle no rebounded by Mullins Hammond into the front court three on three break Cannon down the left side and he hammers at home in transition 17 point Rams lead Here's Fats Daniels. Daniels back to Haynes. Haynes holding. He's just going to let it fly from about three feet beyond the three-point line, and he knocks it down. It's a 14-point game. That's as close as Indiana would get. Indiana State would get going down the stretch. They lose this one, 84 to 64. Turner didn't score for us. Haynes, 14 points on five of 13 shooting, was four of eight from downtown. Holbrook had seven on two of seven. Damon Butt had 10 points and only six rebounds. 5 of 10 from the field. Daniels had 6 points. and or Dennis had 6 points. And Fats Daniels had 13 on 6 of 10 shooting. Uh, Trammell off the bench with 7 points, 2 assists, 2 rebounds. And Pranchowskis was 2 of 5 shooting. Didn't let a 3 fly. And he only had 4 points for Indiana State. Not the best of shooting days for the Sycamores. 44% from the field while giving up 59% to Fordham. 44 points in the paint for the Rams to 22 for the Sycamores. Again, our interior defense is not great. The Rams were 7 of 14 from downtown on the game. So, pretty good beatdown by Fordham in this one. And we'll take that lesson back to Terre Haute as we get ready to take on the Oakland Grizzlies. We're just going to go ahead and uh, hoops cast that one. 
Oakland out of the Summit League. They are 2-0 coming into this one. Their rating is a 70. We're a 73, so we should be the slight favorite at home. And the quick simulation of this one. And we come away with a 74-57 to win over the Oakland Grizzlies. So as we head into the next episode, we will be at 3-1. And uh, our next opponent is the Illinois Fighting Illini coming up in episode number four. Hope you'll join us.